Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be showing you the top five handheld scan tools for Ford vehicles in 2024 and 2025. We'll show you the cheapest through to the most expensive and explain what kind of features and functions each of these tools have. We'll put links to all of these kits in the description below this video and in the pinned comment, just so it makes it a little bit easier for you to find them. You do need to be careful because there are fakes, there are clones on the market and they can damage your vehicle. So for that reason, we ask you to use the link and you will be taken to the genuine and official product. Now at the end of the video, I'll show you which of these tools I would personally buy with my personal money on my personal Ford vehicle. Given what I know about these tools, I've had the opportunity to use these tools over the past uh, sort of year or so, and uh, I know kind of the ins and outs of all of the tools. So I, I feel like I'm in a good position to tell you which tools I would go for, which tools I would recommend, okay? Um, I'll also show you like a, a bonus tool at the end of the video, which is kind of like a dealer level high end tool, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And if by the end of this video, you're still unsure about which tool to buy, I'll put the email address in the description below this video. Make sure you send us your vehicle information and we can recommend a tool for you based on your vehicle information and what you're looking to get out of a tool. Okay, so, but hopefully the information I'm gonna give you will give you the answers to exactly what you need, okay? So first of all, we're gonna start at this end of the table. This is the iCars FD version 1.0 tool and it is the most basic tool on the table but it does offer some really really good features so if you've got like a, a Ford vehicle and you need to diagnose you've got a warning light coming on the dashboard or you just think something's not quite right somewhere and this will allow you to diagnose the main systems in the vehicle which are things like engines airbags ABS transmission it will also allow you to diagnose other systems like power steering uh, central lock HVAC systems view live data as well diagnose and reset these fault codes okay so it allows you to reset the warning lights it'll also give you one service function as well and when you'll hear me talking about service functions quite a bit in this video but uh, the service function that is included with this tool is the oil service reset so when you've got the oil or the maintenance message on your dashboard then it, this tool will allow you to reset that, okay? It gives you that one service function. So that's the FD version 1.0 tool. We then move on to the, it's called US version 2.0 tool. Um, it's, they've called it the US tool because um, with Ford being an American company, it, it does cater for the Ford vehicles, but it also includes the Ford European software, okay? So this is the version 2.0 tool, and this tool will do everything that this tool will do, but this does a few more manufacturers and a few more uh, service functions. So when we talk about service functions, again, this one just does the oil service reset. This one will do other service functions like DPF regeneration, electronic park and brake, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor, new battery registration, and brake bleeding. My Alexa has just gone off there, so I'm gonna try and power through this with Alexa going on in the background. Um, so this is the version 2.0 tool, and it does offer you, as I say, more than this will do for just a little bit more, okay? But it's very important for me to say, though, that you, if you wanna make sure that one of those service functions does work on your vehicle, and please do send us an email with your VIN number of your vehicle, and we can check to make sure that that service function, let's say it was a DPF regeneration, we can check to make sure it does work on your specific vehicle. It's very important that we do that because, like I say, not all of the service functions work on all of the vehicles, if that makes sense, okay? So that's the version 2.0. We then come to the US version 3.0 tool, and it's the same again whereby it's, you know, it's, it's all the Ford software built in here, but this tool goes way over and above these tools. So this tool is actually just a little bit more, more money for a huge jump up in the level of diagnostics that you get. You'll see this tool does look a little bit different. It's got better hardware, which means it can take better software. So it covers a lot more newer vehicles. It covers a lot more service functions as well. So the service functions, you know, everything that these two will cover, but it, it's a, it's a bi-directional scan tool, which means you can do component testing. You can do actuation tests. You can test specific parts within the vehicle to make sure that they are operating correctly like the switches, the motors, things like that. Not only that though, but it does suspension calibration, transmission adaption, air conditioning reset, engine adaption, 
other adaptions and calibrations as well. Again though, send us your VIN number if you wanted to double check and we can check to make sure any of those do work on your vehicle, all right? So that's the MB, sorry, the, uh, the US version 3.0 tool. Packs a lot of software into one dedicated tool for this one. Uh, we then move on to the CR Pro Kit. The CR Pro Kit has been a good tool for a number of years purely because of the broad range of manufacturers that it covers. So let's say you've got a Ford vehicle that you need to work on, but you also have a BMW, an Audi, a Seat, Skoda, Porsche, Land Rover, Jaguar, etc. Anything from all four corners of the earth, this tool will pretty much cover it, other than the really, really high end stuff like. Um, Aston Martin, McLaren, things like that. It, it, to be fair though, it does do some supercars, like uh, it does Lamborghinis from like say, a certain era onwards, does Ferrari. So if you're lucky enough to own one of those, then this, this would help. Um, but yeah, so this matches the service functionality of the version 2.0 tool, uh, but obviously it does that for all makes and models. So again, you know, if you wanted to say, do a DPF regeneration on your Ford, but you also want to do a DPF regeneration on your BMW, then this tool might be worth looking at. But again, use the VIN number, send us, a, send us an email with the VIN number for both vehicles and we can check that for you, okay? So that's the CR Pro Kit. And when we talk about multi-manufacturer tools, we honestly think there's no better tool on the market than this one here. This is by far, hands down, the best tool on the table. It does everything that all of these tools will do in one powerful tool. It matches the service functionality of the version 3.0 tool. So this gives you the ability to do all of your calibrations, your adaptions, your service functions, your diagnosing, and it just packs the very best diagnosing software, the very best manufacturer coverage, and the very best service functionality into one fast, powerful tablet-based tool. Uh, it has its own built-in battery, and we really do think that this is the best bang for book, bang for book tool available right now. So it's the CR Max. Um, you get free lifetime updates on all of these tools, and the reason that's really worth mentioning is because some of the other manufacturers like Autel and X Tool, they will give you free updates for the first year, but after that, they're going to charge you. Um, sometimes to the tune of 100, 150 pounds per year just for the updates alone. Well, once you've bought this tool, you get free updates for life, okay? So you don't need to pay another penny, which is, uh, is really good. So it kind of um, puts the iCarsoft brand to the forefront of any DIY or enthusiasts um, needs. Now, I mentioned at the start of the video, I would give you my personal recommendation on which tool to go for based on what I know about these tools, uh, having had the opportunity to use these for quite a while. Um, I would honestly say that if I'm looking for a tool just for my Ford vehicle, so I'm not really bothered about anything else, then it would 100% be the US version 3.0. It is I mean, it, it's not the cheapest, okay? Um, right now, this is retailing at about 195, 195 pounds. So those prices are subject to change. So, you know, don't be surprised if you see a different price on the website when you go to look at it. But it really does pack an awful lot of software into one tool um, when it comes to diagnostics and system coverage and service functionality. The US version 3.0 wins that battle hands down okay so this tool if i'm just looking for a tool for my ford if i've got a ford and a different vehicle as well like a bmw an audi a porsche land rover whatever it may be then i would honestly go for the CR max kit again this is the most expensive tool on the table it's not bank breakingly expensive but sh surely because of the amount of coverage the amount of manufacturer coverage and system and service functionality you get from this tool you know, once you've, you could buy two of these and this is still cheaper, okay? So you're gonna get access to absolutely everything for one price with the CR Max kit. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be either this one here for just Ford, this one for Ford and other manufacturers as well, right? This one, it's honestly, it's the best value for money tool that we've seen in a long time. Um, and you know, if I'm just sort of like milling around the shop or anything like that, I have used all of these tools, but this is always the one I just pick up because it's so easy just to get anything I want really quickly without having to go to different tools for different vehicles, things like that. Having said that though, if you just have like maybe an older Ford, 
and you just want to reset an airbag light or a check engine light, maybe you're thinking about selling the vehicle and you don't really want to invest too much in a tool, then sometimes you know you, you might not need to look any further than the FD version 1.0 tool because this is going to reset an airbag light just the same as any of these tools will. So um, don't let some of these tools fool you sometimes into thinking you need the absolute best. It's just this is going to you know, suffice for your current need. These tools will look towards your future needs and, you know, look after you in future because you don't know what's going to crop up. The thing with these vehicles now is they've got so many electronic systems in them that you might have an airbag light tomorrow or today, but you could have something completely different tomorrow and you want to make sure you're going to get a tool which deals with future problems and faults. And these two will definitely do that. All right, so, um, the, the bonus tool I was going to tell you about, this is the iCarsoft CR Ultra Kit. This is the, like, it's kind of like a dealer level tool. So this is going to do everything that the specialists and the dealer are going to be able to do. And the reason we put this in here is because there are some people out there who just want the absolute best tool out there. And sometimes money is no object. Sometimes they've got the budget to be able to afford the best tools. Um, so, you know, if that, if you, if you are lucky enough to fall into that category, then we just wanted to show you this tool just in case you do, um, that, that matches your criteria. Uh, but for most Ford enthusiasts and owners, what we see on the table here will be more than sufficient for your specific needs. If you're still unsure about which of these tools to go for, then please do email us. The email address is below. The, uh, the send us your vehicle information. We'll check which vehicle would be best suited to your needs. Uh, it probably will speed things up if you can send us the VIN number of your vehicle. Uh, if you're looking to go down one of the service function resets, if you're just looking to find out if, it, if the tool will diagnose an airbag light, then just give us your vehicle information, something like that, okay? Um, but yeah, I'll put links to all of these kits in the description. Please make sure you use these links because that will take you to the genuine and official products. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this helps.